Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you this really simple easy glam that I did today and I also wanted to make it beginner friendly. That was very important to me because there was a time where obviously I could not apply makeup. When I tell you every time I watch tutorials I just used to be there like huh? I just used to be so lost when I didn't know how to apply makeup so I wanted to try and make it as easy as possible i really hope that you guys find it easy to follow i hope you guys like this look it's very simple so obviously it's for every day and personally i feel like if you have oily to combo skin this method that i do work for you because i'm not gonna lie i just do my own thing and it works for me and people always comment on how flawless my skin looks so i wanted to just show you what i do i hope you guys find this very very informative if you do please like share and also please subscribe because you know YouTube be trying us. So if you do enjoy this video, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And let's just get straight on to the video. So I'm gonna start off with my brows. Hopefully this video does not cut because my camera has just been cutting every two seconds. So if I keep looking down like this, it's because I'm checking to see if the camera hasn't cut yet. Obviously, when I start off with brows, the brow product I used, I actually did a um beauty faves and literally today that brow product finished if you're starting out i feel like pencils are better to use because you can get better control i usually start off from the bottom and then i go over that with the but i follow my arch and and it doesn't matter if it's messy because that is all going to be cleaned up anyway again line at the bottom and the line at the top i don't really feel my front of the brow so it can look a bit more natural not harsh so next thing i now do is honestly one step that i actually do which i forgot to do i always moisturize my lips first especially now it's winter and i like to use the dior lip sugar scrub sweet exfoliating balm this is good because it's a balm and an exfoliating one so now I'm going to conceal my brows. So to clear up my brows, I kind of like to use a shade that's my shade personally. And then sometimes, just depending, I will do a lighter brow underneath. But generally I like to do that more if I'm going out. So I'm going to use this Clinique Bio Concealer and Foundation in one. Personally, I've not been like picking this for my face. To cover my brows has been good, so I'm literally going to just use it for that. I feel like different times of the year I can just wear different foundations. So again, I like to just go underneath and carve it out just to clear that out. I like to use a brush. This is actually an eyeshadow brush that you use for patting on here. But I like this because it has an angle here so it's easy to get in the arch of my brow and carve up my brows easily and then with the excess I like to go over the top I don't really add extra I just go with the excess and then what I like to do is use a spoolie just to brush this so I can make it look a little bit more natural I always start with my eyes first then go into my face and a lot of people always ask why people do that but my personal reason for doing that is because if I do have my base down it usually is set so I don't want to do my brows mess up my brows then do eyeshadow and eyeshadow falls all the way down to my face because it just messes up the whole thing that's just for me personally I'm going to use eyeshadow today I personally think for beginners a palette like this is great this is the Smashbox cover shot matte eye palette and I think this is great because it has neutral colors so you can literally wear this every single day it has such good browns and all of that but what I like to do first I always prime my lids and I'm just gonna use my Becca concealer to prime my lids and again I'm just gonna blend that out with a concealer brush and I drag it up around the brow bone so and you can have that highlighted brow bone if you like. This step obviously is not compulsory. I like to kind of pat it so it can blend better. But a tip to having good eyeshadow 
honestly it's so simple in blending a lot and blending with clean brushes so I'm just gonna take this brush and I'm gonna do a very natural eye so I'm just gonna go in with this brown shade here which is supermodel and then what I do I go in with this brush this is a Smashbox brush great for blending and I blend that out more just so you can see it's quite seamless and this is a very very pigmented palette and also what I like is that you can actually do day and night looks with this so like I said the secret is just to keep blending and don't pack on a lot of products like eyeshadow first always put a little bit and then add more as you feel like you need put the shade deadline just on my brow bone I like to like highlight my brow bone Some people like to have it all the way here, but I literally just like to put it on the arch. But again, all I do is blend because blending is key. Because I know these two shades touched each other, so I just blend it so it can look more seamless. Back to the lid, I'm going to go in with Editor. You can just put on mascara or you can put on lashes. So for mascaras, I'm just gonna give you guys some good mascaras to use. If you like that fake lash look, I strongly suggest Lancome mascaras. The ones I would say that are great for fake lash, that kind of fake lash look, I would say is Doll Eyes, the Hypnose, and also Grand Eyes is quite good. But then, to be honest, all of them are good. Or, this is the Dior Show. I love this. This is a Pump and Volume Dior Show Mascara. I'm going to put some lashes. I'm going to coat the first layer, just my top lashes, and I'm going to use Dollhouse. Just look at that after one coat. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but I usually like to apply, apply lashes, and the lashes I'm going to use are from Eyelore. And one thing I've noticed, the older your lashes are, the easier they are to put them on. What I do before I put on my lashes is prime my face because usually you have to wait for a bit to do your lashes so I feel like my face is setting in properly. What I'm going to do is go in with a primer oil just to set my face. My face is hydrated but it's going to turn me So I like to just put on a little, little bit because I am oily. But I know people think that you cannot use oil but oil controls my oil. Also make sure your hands are clean because to be touching all your face but yeah then but like i said i only use the littlest bit don't, don't be going and putting a lot maybe if you have dry skin that'll be fine for you but <laughs> me i have very very oily skin and for primer i'm just gonna suggest some especially if you have oily skin if you're really really oily i personally strongly suggest the makeup forever hd primer but this is also good for oily skin but it's also for good for normal skin this is the bare minerals primer original this is really good it's probably one of my favorites as well and the smashbox photo finish primer this is the original one they do have one for oily skin but i feel like that doesn't always work well with all of my foundations but oh, i'm going to use this around my nose because it's very very oily around there like unnecessarily oily and i have really big pores i like to put it here as well and here because i have a very oily chin Sounds disgusting, or you know, I'll just put it around my teaser. <laughs> I'm going to put Smashbox primer all around the rest of my face. To be honest, sometimes I actually just put primers on before I even start my eyebrows or anything, but today I kind of forgot. So I've just put my lashes on. I really think it's time for me to get some new lashes because this one <laughs> it was misbehaving. This one went on so well, but this one was misbehaving. But I hope you guys didn't notice, was really. Okay, now that my fan primer has set, my lashes are on, what I will now do is do my foundation. This winter, I mean, I've been mixing foundations. This foundation used to really irritate me because I always got flashback. 
I use this foundation but I didn't like it so much on its own and also I'm not really used to wearing drugstore foundations because this is a very good foundation but I prefer mixing it maybe if I had my shade I might like on its own but personally I feel like the formula with this is a really good mix dab a bit of this on this is in the shade the 360 and then I just put my double wear Estee Lauder this is in the shade 6N2 so I just again put a bit of that on and I do understand if you don't want to get them both because you might be thinking why should I have to mix you but everyone's skin is different this is just what what works great for my skin and another tip that you might realize I do a lot is always spray in between because I feel like it just makes everything melt in better so this is the Mario Badescu facial spray aloe herbs and rose water so, and I know people are thinking is this good for people with oily skin but this is amazing for me and like I said, I have extremely oily skin. When I'm putting my foundation, I use a stippling brush because this is really good for just putting everything on. But then after, I want to set that and make sure it's blended very well. You can either use a beauty blender, which I do have, or you can use a brush like this. This also came in a set. And like I say, blending is always key. So if you're going to spend most a lot of time doing anything, it should be blended. If you don't want to mix foundations, I do suggest the Lang Home because for me, I don't have to. I never have to mix that, and it works all year round. But I just like the way this foundation looks with these those two mixed together. And what I also like to do is set my face with Laura Mercier translucent powder. I actually also like to use a stippling brush for this. I don't know why, but it works well for me. And then some people might prefer to use press powders, but um. Right now I don't have one, so just using this. But a good pressed powder, I suggest, is actually from MAC. MAC ones are really good. But this is also really good because it's fine milled. And <laughs> it works all around my face like you can see. And it sets it. And as you can see, my face looks set, but it doesn't look like cakey or dry or like weird. But that might just be because I've already skin. What I still like to do, even though it doesn't look powdery, I still apply this over the top so that if there was any powder that I missed out, it's gone now. And again, I do like to blend. This is the key to making your skin flawless and smooth because people always now go into highlighting and highlight this is an everyday look. I personally like to use this Becca highlighter but this is the Becca Conceal It in Warm Honey this is a very light um, concealer it's like just as, it's like a light like the NARS one but this is such a good concealer I really like it and it blends so easily so again I like to go with this brush and I like to blend and how I like to do I like to blend from the bottom and then go up I like to have this diagonal line that's just how I like to do my concealer. You can again use a beauty blender. But I personally like to use this. Pat, don't drag because when you drag it can move your foundation and it can kind of go streaky. So always pat. And yeah, it can take a while but if you want your makeup flawless, that's just what you're going to have to do. When I get to the middle, I like to kind of go out kind of like a triangle and then kind of just go round and then when it comes to my nose I do drag it down but I do it lightly so it's not like pulling product down and at the same time I'm patting it down I do set it with the Laura Mercier translucent powder but I do use the lighter one because I feel like if I used one for my skin it won't really Highlight me that much. This is a real technique brush, and I personally like to just pat it in. But people do like to bake, but I feel like patting it in works better because it's setting and it's not moving. And I personally feel like if you have oily skin, this is a better method. So I'm just setting places that 
highlighted and if you do feel like it looks cakey again I still always do this just so it can always be seamless it does last a long time even though I spray it like 50 times I actually prefer the cucumber one for my face but I don't have any more of that but I kind of do it's in this spray bottle it's a long story basically when I was flying I, I really did couldn't take this because um it was too big and the other one was too big so I put it in a smaller container and I kind of mixed it with this so it's actually not this color so oh the right one I used the wrong one guys this is the right one I used the actual slay all day that's so annoying okay but it doesn't really matter I have oily skin so <laughs> if it can set it's good also you can actually use setting spray as well in between Next, what I do like to do is bronze my face. I'm not really been contouring, but one good thing I say if you're my color, you can use this shade to contour if you want. I'll show you. In fact, I'll just contour my nose and I'll bronze the rest of my face. Again, I always say blending is key. Okay, that's why this is such great palette because you can contour and this can be an eyeshadow. Now I'm gonna bronze. To bronze, personally, what I like to use is the Gerla Terracotta Four Seasons bronzing pad. So this may scare you, but you can use all these colors in one and it'll bronze your face. You can swirl this all around. And I love to use this brush. This is a great brush. This is again from Real Techniques. It's a powder brush. And literally all I do is just, and I bronze like in the areas that you would contour. I feel like it makes you look very nice and chocolatey. But then if you do want to just use this blush shade, you can just dab into that and blush your cheeks, but I generally prefer to just use all of it as a bronzer. I like this product because like you can see, I put a lot on my face and it just never looks bad. Like I know some products, if you put too much, ah, is an error. You may have messed up your makeup, but this you can always put too much, in, but you can also put a little bit and you'll still look good again i always spray this i won't lie this many times is not essential but this is what helps me have a smooth base i kind of like to use a goldish highlight from mac but this was um mariah carey's limited edition and i like to use this brush it's actually a blush brush but it has this kind of straight side here and it just applies really well on the cheeks and when applying highlights if you even if you put on just a bit i guess it depends on how pigmented your pigmented your highlighters when you just put a bit you end up seeing it it actually does glow because sometimes when you put too much you look a bit like a disco ball and if you're oily i've realized i actually prefer powdered highlighters i do have a liquid one but i feel like that's good to mix in my foundation if i want to look extra dewy not that i should want to because i'm actually oily put it above my cheekbone Sometimes you'll feel like you've not put a lot, then when you're like in the light, you'll just see it like boom. And also I like to put it down the bridge of my nose. Sometimes I like to put it above my brow. And also, I think I learned this trick from Kim Kardashian's makeup artist, but when you put it here, it can like shine off when the light hits. So what I like to do is actually put it in the inner tear duct. And I feel like because it's gold, a nice dark gold, it still looks subtle. It doesn't look too much. Only, and I'll leave it there. Literally, my everyday combo right now has been MAC Chestnut Lip Liner. What I like about this is very creamy. Every black girl needs this lip liner. I'm not even going to say my opinion is a fact. And then, all I've been doing is using... Fenty Glow. So the look is finished. If you did enjoy this video, please like, share and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Adios!